Hi, Judy. Hi. I'm so excited about this demo. So am I. Today we're doing Jerry's Jelly Roll Jig. And this is the coolest product when it comes to making Jelly Roll rugs, bags, or whatever you want to do with a Jelly Roll. It contains your little jig, which mine is green. Doesn't mean you would get a green one because they come in many other colors. Now this was just the first color that came out. And then you are gonna, you're going to get two pieces of plastic. One side is very smooth, the other side is rough. The rough side is the side that's gonna go to your fabric and your batting both. So what you wanna do is, I'm going to be showing you how to set this up. You're gonna be having your two and a half inch jelly roll strip and a two and a quarter piece of batting that comes on a roll like this. You're gonna wanna make sure that when you buy this, do not buy the roll that has the um, adhesive on it. What that does is it makes it much thicker, it's harder to work with, it, it doesn't- Harder on your needle. It just doesn't do the mm -hmm. same thing. So it's not necessary, you are not gonna be pressing this. This goes together so smooth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pieces of plastic, one piece we're gonna lay on the fabric, what, the rough side to the fabric, the rough side to the batting, and as you can see, I have a leader here now, right here. This leader is gonna go into the jig. It's gonna slip through here. I'm gonna fold this over. When this goes into the jig, it's gonna come out, this is gonna pull it out the other end, like this. And as you can see, it's already curling this around. This is what you want. Now you can take out the leader pieces, carefully put them back in your plastic. You do not wanna lose these, because these are meant to fit through here. And another piece wouldn't. So what I do is I use my wonderful little wonder clips and I keep it all clipped together. Good tip. It's like a bias tape maker, isn't it? Kind of. It kind of is. It's only only better. Yeah, yeah. Because this is so wonderful. It just does such a great job of folding. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over one more time. So it, it folds in, like you said, like a bias. And now I'm going to put it under my, my foot. And I'm going to start sewing. And when I do this, I'm going to be sewing toward the edge of that little turn. You don't want to be down the middle. It doesn't look as good if you do. Okay. So I'm just going to start sewing it. And you have to let it get going a little bit. And as you can see, as I'm pulling this, do you see how that's turning it so nicely? It's just great. And I just keep pulling and turning and it glides through. It honestly glides through like butter. I've never had anything that goes through this smoothly. Pull and it what just size, folds. What size seam allowance are you using? I'm just, you know, I what I always do personally is whatever the machine comes up with, that's usually what I do. Um, I, I've always thought that the machine manufacturer probably knows a lot more than I do, and so that's usually one of the best stitches. If you think it's too tight, you can increase it, but this one is, a, I think this is at like a 2.2. Okay. And you could go to a 2.5 if yeah. you wanted. It wouldn't matter. And then how, how about the distance from the fold on your... Well, I'm trying to stay toward the edge yep. is what I'm trying to do. Okay. Um, and because you're going to zigzag over that eventually. Okay. So then that's just going to make your rug look a little bit better. I know some of the patterns I've seen um, have recommended that you go down the middle, but I don't like it down the middle. I don't think it looks as nice or as neat. I tried that the first jelly roll rug I made, and I found it not to be as successful. Sure. So I'm just kind of watching, pulling as I go, and then turning. Some people will use a walking foot with this process, but if your machine pulls through without a walking foot, you don't need one. Okay. I personally have not done it a walking foot with any of my machines. I've got a couple of them at home and I have not had to do that. So 
um, whatever works the best. And one thing I have noticed with using the jelly roll jig, this will not do this kind of big turn. I have one completed that has not been ironed. I did a few of these at home and actually put them together. And if you can see, they don't twist and turn like some of the other jigs. Mm -hmm. That's one of the benefits of using the jelly roll jig. It just turns out so much nicer. Nice. Um, I like to use a big bag also or a basket to put my batting in because that way it just keeps feeding up really nicely um, and you don't have to chase it around the floor because it's tough. Sometimes it's tough to work with them if you don't. So this makes it a lot nicer. It works so nice. It really does. It's just, it's effortless. And you can, they say, and I've never timed myself, but they say that you can do this in one third of the time of not, it is, it, with a jig as if you didn't have the jig. Wow. So that's, that's a huge savings in my book. Especially if you have a lot of things you're doing. I, I love making this. And I have a lot of different patterns to do too with these. Millie Pease has some really nice upcoming classes that we will be using this Jelly Roll Jig. So you should watch for them. There's some really cool ones. Now, um, what you can do with this, I went a little bit too far. I should have not pulled it through so far. If you don't pull it through as far as I did, you can just add another strip onto this. Okay. And it makes it really easy. So and you if don't you have to sew the strips together. You just no, layer them. You just layer going. them. The only way that you'd have to sew them together is if you were doing a rug. A rug. Then you'd want to do that ahead of time. But I'm actually doing this, these strips for a bag class that All I'm right. going to be teaching right. for Millie Peas. So cool, Judy. This is so cool. It is just, it, like I say, it's effortless. It is just so easy to do and turns out so nicely. So if you haven't done a jelly roll jig, it is delightful. It really is. And you can see how nice this does not twist up. It doesn't. It's it really doesn't. so much easier. And then when you do go to press these together, they're nice and straight and very easy to work with. Fun. So this is, um, if it were for a rug, you'd sew your fabrics end to end. But since it's for a bag, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do What's that. What's the name of the rug, of the bag? The bag is... Uh, anything Goes? The Anything Goes bag. Right. I wonder if I have... I, you, the bag is there. Judy, did you see the bag on the bottom shelf to your right? Yes. I forgot it was there. Yes, here it is. All right, so sign up for the Anything Goes bag. And we will be having another class also that's going to be coming up that's going to be a table runner yes. or placemats or anything you choose to do with it. Fun. That's going to be a fun class too. Fun. Thank you, Judy. Well, thank you.